there's a 99% chance that this is a quickie. One thing that causes so much confusion today, especially in political discussions, is the conflation of a statistical difference and a categorical difference. It seems like people get the idea that if there isn't a categorical difference, there can't be a statistical difference either. Biological sex is a perfect example of a categorical difference. Men are men and women are women. Although there are special cases and nuances and ambiguities, a categorical difference doesn't preclude any of those, men and women have categorical differences where there can be no in-between. For example, the glance penis in men and the glance clitoris in women are homologous. They're different expressions of the same basic body part. But the glance penis has the urethra running through it. The glance clitoris doesn't. There's no way to go from one to the other through a smooth statistical grade. But other differences, such as height and strength, are statistical differences. Men are taller and stronger overall, but it's pretty easy to find an individual woman who's taller or stronger than an individual man. Same with brain structure. Different parts of the brain have different characteristics, distributed differently between women and men. But not all women or men share that distinct characteristic with others of their own sex. It's statistical, not categorical. And overall, hardly anyone has all of the different parts of their brains that statistically correspond to what is more likely for their sex. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a difference overall. Another example is race. So-called race realists look at statistical differences between races and assume that races are categories. They aren't. They're just sets of statistical distribution, not even worth considering as subspecies. But on the other hand, just because there are no categorical differences doesn't mean there are no statistical differences and that race is just a social construct. Although much of our conception of race is purely social, there are many important aspects that are true statistical differences, such as the chances of getting melanoma or sickle cell anemia. Understanding this difference can help clarify these and many more issues and help prevent confusion when we discuss them.